Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I teach cake artists how to create modern cake designs and lifelike flowers using wafer paper, which is beautiful edible material. And today we are going to use wafer paper to create beautiful olive branch with gold olive, so you can design a modern cake using this technique. Let's get started! And to make my leaves, I will start with wafer paper. And I'm going to brush my wafer paper because I find it's easier to create leaves and foliage out of pre-colored wafer paper. So I'm going to airbrush in this green olive color. And I'm working on the bumpy side because that's the side I wanted to facing and to want it to be on the top of my leaves. And then I will let my wafer paper dry and flatten so I can use it to make my leaves. And while my wafer paper is drying, I'll start with making my olives. I'm going to use 22 gauge wire. And also here I have fondant with a little bit tylos added so it will dry firmer because I don't have any gum paste on hand. If you have gum paste, you can use that. But I'm going to take a small amount of fondant with tylos. And because we are making olives, what we are looking for is to create a size of a grape or olive, something like this. And I will take my 22 gauge wire and create a hook on one side like that. Now, to make my olive smooth on all sides, what I'm going to do is to warm my fondant with Tylos mixture until it becomes soft and stretchy like this. And then to make my olive smooth, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my palm and use my other palm and apply a lot of pressure. You can see that right now it's not very smooth, so I'm going to put my other palm on top and apply a lot of pressure trying to move my fondant in between my palms. And that's how you create a very smooth, soft ball. I'm going to shape it in a little bit elongated form and insert my wire. So this is going to be my olive. I will set it aside on the foam to dry. And now that I have my olives fully dry, I wanted to paint them gold color. And I'm going to mix my gold petal dust with vodka. And I'm going to paint my olive stems as well because I want them to be fully golden. And I will do this to all my olives. So now that my wafer paper is dry, it's green on one side and completely white on the other side. I'm going to prepare my wire. I wanted to put my leaves on the wire and I'm using 36 gauge wire in green. I'm going to cut my wire in three pieces, like that. And to make my leaves flexible and to wire my leaves, I'm going to use my Acetonic, which is non-alcoholic wafer paper conditioner. This is my own recipe. You can download the recipe for free and make your own. And I'm going to apply my Acetonic with the brush. I love using flat synthetic brushes like this. And for my leaves, I think about going maybe two inches, inch and a half. So I will fold my wafer paper about this length and cut so I can create my leaves. I didn't have a template for this application because it's just like free flow and you can use this method for any flowers you're going to make. And first I'll start with applying generous layer of my wafer paper conditioner on one side of my wafer paper in between two layers. So I'm applying onto my white side or not colored side and then I'm going to take my wires and place them about maybe inch and a half in between. So this is going to be a thickness for my leaves. 
making sure that I have enough liquid for wafer paper to stick to itself. And I'm going to press the second half on top, smooth everything down and run my finger so I can feel every wire is properly sandwiched in between two layers of wafer paper. And now that I have my wire in, I'm going to cut in between, somewhere in the middle. I prefer to do this while my wafer paper is still soft, so almost immediately after applying my conditioner. And now all I need to do is to cut my leaves and to shape my leaves. So I will take one piece of wafer paper and cut my olive leaf. and remove extra wafer paper. Also, I like rounding my leaves. I think it looks more realistic for olive leaves. And then what I'm going to do is gently bend here in the middle, pinch my top and give it a little bit of movement so my leaves are not going to look flat like that. And I will set it aside on a bumpy foam to dry until I can assemble everything together. Now, another step you can take before assembling your leaves, you can either dust your wafer paper. Wafer paper takes on dry dust very well. But I prefer to use confectioner's glaze because when you apply a thin layer of confectioner's glaze on your wafer paper, it creates this beautiful shine and makes wafer paper leaves more lifelike and more realistic in a way because now you can see the difference in texture almost between just dry wafer paper and wafer paper with confectioner's glaze. And now is my favorite part to assemble everything together. I'm going to use half wet floral tape. This is in light green. And for my stem wire, I'm going to use 20 gauge because I'm using gum paste for my olives and gum paste is so much heavier than wafer paper. I wanted to make sure that my wire will be able to support my olive branch. I will start with arranging my leaves first. I will find a few smaller ones to go on top and then I will add the rest from there like that. So this is going to be the beginning of my arrangement. Same for my olives. I'm going to bend them a little bit and just decide where I wanted them to go. Maybe like this. So let's get started with floral tape. I'm going to stretch my floral tape first. And I will start with taping my first leaf. And add another two leaves before placing my wire, my thicker wire. Now I'm going to take my 20 gauge wire and add it together to my three leaves first. Like this. And then I will go back to add more stability. And then I'm going to place my first gold olive here. And continue assembling my leaves and my olives here on the branch. I like facing all my leaves one direction first because it's easier for me to see where is my face side for the arrangement and how many leaves I need to add to that. So when I have enough or when I wanted to move down my wire, I will place around all my olives and my leaves like that to see if I like the density, if I like this arrangement, because it's easier to take my floral tape off and add more leaves at this stage. But I do quite like the positioning. So I'm going to continue adding my wafer paper leaves and gold fondant olives. And now you have it. All I need to do is to bend my wire a little bit so my stem doesn't look flat. 
and you can see how beautiful this V for paper leaves and gold olives arrangement and it can be used as a statement piece or as an additional filler foliage for any of your arrangements. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll give wafer paper a chance because it's so lightweight and easy to create any foliage for your cake decorating or you can put it on a cookie. And wafer paper is very stable so you can put it on the buttercream cakes or you can put it in the fridge without affecting its texture. And if you like this tutorial, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and give me a like. My name is Anna and and I'll see you for another V for Paper tutorial next week. Bye-bye!